Today I'm going to be installing this electric fan in my 92 F-150. The first thing you're going to do with this kit is take these little pieces and connect them onto the corners here and then just slide on. I'm just gonna stick these pads in between the fan and the radiator. So I've got all these pushed through on the inside, including the ones on the bottom. The instructions say to take a screwdriver and widen or separate the fins a little bit gently, but I was able to just push this thing through without uh, using a screwdriver. So now on the other side, we need to push these on and there's some extra pads here which we're going to push those on first and then these and I think these just kind of act like zip ties basically you just push them on and they'll uh, kind of just hook themselves on so up top here uh, we can get through it right here but the bottom ones look like they went through the transmission radiator or whatever that's called as well so we can probably just do it on that side I think it'll be fine but anyway I go ahead and put this on slide that on down and then this just push that over And then you can either just cut the excess off or just tuck it away. All right. Then you can kind of see down at the bottom they're poking through. So now that we've got this installed onto the radiator, we are ready to go ahead and wire it up. Um, I got a 14 inch one, a 16 inch probably would have fit in here better, but 
I didn't realize. I didn't even look at the size when I ordered it. So I think this will work just fine, especially with the oversized radiator on the stock engine. So for the power side, I'm gonna hook up to the radio fuse, which, and uh, I had this thing lying around. I'm not sure where it came from, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this. But otherwise you can just kind of do like this. And then they recommend you using a, uh, uh, I think it's 20 amp fuse in line. This one has two fives on it. I'll have to switch that out, but uh, that's just what was on here. I'm gonna hook this up to the radio and uh, then run this line through the firewall somewhere. So I've got it run through there now, and this is kind of how I've got it routed. Of course, I'll zip tie it down into place a little bit more later. So I'm coming around here and then running up. And so now we just gotta hook this side up to the fan, which will be the blue wire. And then the black wire it recommends going directly to the battery, which isn't too far away. So probably just hook it up, loosen these and snug, put it in there or feed it down into here. So now we've got it working. Um, I've got it hooked on, hooked up so that when the key's on, the fan's on. Uh, but we've got it hooked up to the negative battery cable, and then we've got it running up into the radio fuse. So that's it for this. We're all done.